Pulitzer Prize-nominated playwright Lee Blessing's moving drama Going to St. Ives is now in production at Actors Co-op in Hollywood. Produced by Catherine Gray, it's the story of two women, each searching for a solution to their life-changing problems. Show director Linda Kearns explains. Going to St. Ives, a story about two women who have faced great odds, great losses, who are trying to right some wrongs, who are willing to sacrifice to do that, and the way they negotiate the waters and deal with each other and issues around the world. Nan McNamara is British eye surgeon Cora Gage, a woman struggling with a family tragedy and a political cause. I, as Cora, have experienced um, great trauma, and I'm looking for forgiveness, ultimately, um, throughout the entire story. Forgiveness from, from myself, forgiveness from my husband, forgiveness all the way around. Inger Tudor is May, the African mother of a ruthless dictator. She goes to St. Ives for medical treatment, but has a hidden agenda. May is very regal. Uh, she's an empress, and she's very focused, and she's very driven, and she knows what she wants. She comes here on a mission, and she gets a golden opportunity when Cora asks her to help have the doctors released that are being held prisoner in, in May's country. And so May sees this as a way to um, sort of manipulate Cora to get what she wants. And uh, I think she takes full advantage of that moment because she knows how to do that. It's a very dense play. Lee Blessing has written an amazing play. It works on, on so many levels, uh, the, the way that Walk in the Woods did as well. It's a, a personal story and it's uh, a story about global responsibility and um, it just works on a lot of levels. The challenge for me as a director was keeping it constantly alive, keeping it full of emotion, things that the audience can relate to and not just an intellectual exercise. I think audiences will enjoy a number of elements of going to St. Ives. I think Mr. Blessing, the playwright, has conceived not only a really thought-provoking subject matter, but he's created two amazingly strong, wonderful female characters that you don't often get to see in the theater. I think they'll walk away thinking about the question of life or death and taking a life and when that's right, when that's not right, and how it's not as simple as it seems. People are not simply good or simply bad. This is a real privilege to work on this kind of material, and I really hope that audiences come and enjoy it. It's a really powerful play. Going to St. Ives is playing at Actors Co-op in Hollywood through March 16th. Tickets can be purchased at the box office by calling 323-462-8460 or found online at actorscoop.org.